Uh, the 15s in the front and the 17s at the back. Still done then. That Mark II in that color is looking rather lovely. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, we just make the GTS better. So I'm currently on my way to Andrew. I'm gonna drop the car off there. He's going to fit the tack adapter so that we have some RPM in this thing and try and get the radio working and just sort of just go over the wiring and see what's up. Um, and then hopefully from there the car will go to J2 because we need to sort out that drum and there's lots of other things planned but let's see what we are able to get done over the next over the next period hey guys andrew here uh so i'm busy doing the wiring for the radio on the gts um it's kind of a rat's nest in here uh the previous owners decided that wet reduction is the way so there are no door speakers at all and this is all i have so um yeah constant power earth ignition power illumination so this is the radio that came with the car and this is the one we're going to be using and i need to go and pick up a set of speakers and then we can get the show on the road oh, and also to wire up the tack to the dictator with the dictator tack adapter i don't know about you guys but i don't know when last i've seen a mark ii with a vapor barrier still intact that's crazy uh, right now i'm just running this speaker wire through that conduit to get through here so that I can finish up the speaker wire. Alright, got everything heat shrinked up. So, get ready to go in. Uh, let's do this. So, I've just finished the wiring for the radio. I uh, got all the speakers in here. I chose 16 gauge wire just for future proofing, you know, in case big sound comes in here. Um, but yeah, everything's wired up and uh, front speakers are in and rear speakers have been wired in a sense but yeah as i mentioned before there's nothing there yet so now it's just to tidy up and then everything can go back together <laughs> We've got some smooth tunes in the GTS now and some other smooth tunes. So I am on my way to the workshop now. I'm going to trying to replace a brake drum that should be interesting I've never done anything like that before um, I just need to replace basically just a cap um, that the wheel nuts screw into because they are cross-treated so I'm gonna do that now there's quite a few things I'm gonna try and do today I'm quite optimistic but hopefully it, it'll work so Andrew got the RPM sorted but it's it's sort of multiplying for some reason so that I'm currently in fourth that could be I could be doing that right now 3000 ish but for some reason it multiplies when it's idling it idles and it's saying it's doing like 2000 and we know for sure it's not there so and then there's also now that we have RPM the oil buzzer is going off so Andrew needs to disconnect the oil buzzer to the dash because we're just going to use the oil pressure gauge over there just to simplify things a bit um, yeah there's a lot of things to get sorted out um, but the gauge seems to be correct now I'm going to do a just do a third gear pull and see what it does Oh, it's jumping around. Now I see it. Oh, it's jumping. Okay, third gear. Yeah, now it's correct. Okay, so it works. That 
that camera does work as well. Um, okay, so we have RP that's fourth gear, doesn't like fourth gear. So we have RPM, that is Ah, uh, there's the buzzer. So oil buzzer comes on. We need to get that that sorted. Basically just snip snip. But yeah, it's gonna keep going until I switch the car off and back on. So I'll switch the camera off instead. So I put the the lenses on here. The car's in the shade so you can't really see it. I have to kind of show you guys in the light, but yeah, this is not ideal, but I think it looks quite cool, like the, the 15s in the front and the 17s at the back. It looks, it looks mean, it drives so much better, so much softer, which is really nice. So I am going to replace this rear drum and hopefully it, it's quite easy. Okay, so the wheel's off and this is the replacement from crusty to crusty okay so we've got it off uh, Jamil helped me because I am yeah mechanically um, not that well inclined so I need to sand on the inside so they smoothed out the brake super surface that one last week so I'm gonna sand this one and then I need to get a new bedding for it and then it should be good to go I'm on my way to Goldwagen quickly. I'm gonna get a wheel bearing. I'm using Carmel's car because I just needed a car to use. I just bolted the the hub on quickly just to move the car because I needed to move it. But it's basically just like hand tight <laughs> at this point. Put a new bearing in and it should be good to go. So I've got two bolts in there now, but I think two bolts might be stripped. So I'm gonna try and clean it, clean the threads and hopefully it works but I mean two bolts is better than one bolt at this point okay so I fixed for the most part I did this which I'm very proud of replaced the drum cover and the bedding which is awesome and Andrew is going to just test the cluster that we swapped out negative okay so this one is not working. I've got another one. Ah, oh, flip. Um, maybe I wonder if you turn it upside down. Oh, the fuel <laughs> is doing something. Should we disconnect the I need to ask Jamil about the speed. I feel like I'm asking so much of him today. So the car doesn't have a catch can on it. So I just added uh, one of these guys just as like a filter. It doesn't seem like anything is wet on top. When we looked at the bottom of the starter, the starter was wet. But for some reason, I don't see anything... So I'm just going to put that there for now. I brought, brought this catch can, but the, the port is too small. So I need to basically step down to this. But this car will need like a decent catch can. Something that can go somewhere in that general area. But so we check that out and then we mess it on with the speed like cable speedo cable and yeah I don't know if we we've done anything actually so the the dolphins could still be in the engine bay at this point which is a bit of a bummer I tried to swap out the steering wheel but the puller Jamil has too big at this point so for now the steering wheel is staying and I tried. I wanted and to replace this cluster because I have one that's got like 120k on the clock, but it doesn't work at all. So this one with the dolphin noises and the RPM gauge jumping it out is going to be the one for now. That's so that's a work in progress.
we will get it sorted eventually so I thought I'd just show you guys the wheel clearance with the Lenzos it's like enough enough room for activities over there on my way to the shred again they're having another meet up there um, yeah it's it's a it's a good vibe I like going out there and Andrew and Matt of the Fox is there and some other guys so on my way there now I realized I didn't give you guys feedback on suspension feel so the 15s on the GTS makes all the difference it actually has a suspension now <laughs> so it is just the 17 inch tires it's got 205 40s on it and it's just the sidewall is just hard I guess it's like the car feels like really really like just stuff so with the 205 50s it feels really good car feels yeah feels good so Maybe the suspension isn't as bad after all because I was like now we have to change the suspension and blah 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 but yeah maybe maybe it's just decent tires on it some 15s and we should be good to go 
Um, there's a couple of things still to sort out, so now that we've replaced the drum, we don't have to worry about the wheel falling off. I am looking for a GTI for rear disc so that we can do that swap. It's not super urgent, the car does stop, but it's something that I'd like to do, so um, rear conversion on the GTS would be great. I need, it's got two spaces in the rear, so the, the one is like the normal Chinatown ones and then it's got like a hub centric spacer as well, but you can't, I couldn't, for some reason I couldn't get the hub centric spacer all the way in. Um, like it was really tight so I'm gonna try and get like an engineering shop to just open up the center bore to 57.3 or something like that um, I just need to check if that's correct but I, I, I think it's something like that so I'm gonna maybe just have it open up a bit so that it clears and I'm just run one spacer because the the wheel bolts are not quite going in deep enough and I think maybe that's why it got stripped before so that's something that I need to get done or I'll just remove the spacers and get spigots for the wheels because and then it's gonna sit a bit sunken but need to need to do something there it's not not great as it is but at the moment got some new wheel bolts in it because those bolts were stripped and then that should be fine but yeah um, enough about that let's go to that meet and see See what the deal is there. I am lost. You know you are close to a meet when you see someone turning down or turning up around the corner. So I'm here now. I'm probably not going to walk out all this way. So I will just record it like this. So much happening, my word, I can't get through there. The Ford boys are back in action. Okay, let me know in the comments, Mark 1 or Mark 2. Let me know. Because that Mark 2 in that color is looking rather lovely. I'm just gonna show you guys interior. Nice and stripped, got that race car vibe. Nice Momo. Nice. And I showed you guys this one last time. Some hey the some of the vag guys are out here. How's it? It's been it's been a while. So Matt actually won a prize for like best car year or something and it was between him and the the DTM so that's quite interesting this Audi sits really nicely yeah the guys are rolling out they are rushing to go watch the F1 So we are rolling out. It's been it's been good. The wagon is dirty, but it's it's silver, so it doesn't really look like it. I hope you guys are enjoying all the GTS content. Um, we are trying to make moves at the moment. The plan is to swap out the gearbox. So the th diesel box with the three three final, it's great and all, but this one is just not great so the plan we are currently looking at getting a polo gti box which is the o2r and that's got a 3.6 final so that will be the same final that i've got in my car and it should be good and you know what if the if the final drive is too short for the power the car makes we can always just swap it i'm assuming that they are interchangeable and the final should be good in that box. But if we just feel like something about that box is not 
great. So we're gonna have to do some sort of swap and hopefully the clutch and everything is fine because it will not be great to have another button built up. But we'll see how that goes. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.